First, we're gonna draw the head. You're gonna make a backwards J shape and bring it up to the jaw of the unicorn's head. You may have to erase a lot, so make sure you draw lightly so that it comes off easier. I'm gonna curve it to the top of the head and start making one of the ears. You're gonna bring a curved line to a point, so it's kind of like a pointy oval. And then I'm going to make a small ear on the other side. Now I'm making a little hair flip at the front of the head for the hair. Erase any lines on the inside that you may see. Once I get drawing the entire body, I'll go back in and fix the head and look at it to make sure everything's proportionate. For the eye, you're going to leave two little circles. One is going to be for the glare on the eye, though. Remember, we did that with Humphrey. All right, and then you can fill it all in. Again, I'm going to go back in and redo the head once I have the body put in to make sure everything is proportionate. I'm going to draw the unicorn horn now, and we need to add texture to the horn. So you will do a diagonal line all the way repeating all the way down the entire horn. As you can see now I'm adding the texture to the horn. This part may get a little tricky. You're going to start the neck and then you will add the mane of your unicorn on. So it's kind of like a swan's neck right now. It kind of has an S shape but backwards. Now I'm doing the mane of my unicorn. Unicorns have four legs just like horses do. So we, I'm going to draw four different legs. I'm going to draw the one side that's closest to us straight, and the other side, I'm going to draw both of the legs bent. In this one, you'll see the leg behind, but in the next set of legs in the back, I won't be able to see the bottom of the hoof. All right, this is hair, so I'm bringing it down to a point, kind of flipping the hair out a little bit. And as I draw it, I may touch up the unicorn's hair and body as I go, just to modify and rechange some of the things I've already drawn. Now I'm bringing into the bottom two feet, or the back two feet. Again, I'm leaving one straight, and then I'm going to have the other one bent. So I'm bending it by drawing an angle. It's almost a 90 degree angle. A 90 degree angle is like the corner in the room. All right, now I'm drawing the tail. The tail, I'm going to draw three sections of hair coming out of the bottom of our unicorn. I like to do the little flip at the end to let you know it's really hair. And I have a bottom section, a middle section, and a top section for my unicorn's tail. Here I'm going in and refining my neck and my horse's or my unicorn's head and its mane.
my body was too big for the head that I had drawn. So I'm going back in and making the head a little larger just so that it's more proportionate. Proportion meaning that they're all about equal size to each other. That the head is the right size compared to the body. So I don't have too small of a head or too big of a head compared to the body that I've drawn. I'm just going in and tweaking anything I see that I need to redraw, erase and redraw. Now I'm going to color. You may choose any colors you would like for your unicorn. I'm picking bright colored pencils to use. So I have a raspberry or magenta color, a teal or the blue green, and a yellow green colored pencil. And I'm going to color the entire thing with colored pencils. I want my hair to be those three colors so I'm doing it in the pattern. I will also do the same pattern for the tail. Remember, a pattern is repetition with the colors. Remember, coloring with colored pencils, direction is super important. So you can see that I'm using a curved line to color the body of the unicorn. That helps it show that it's more three-dimensional. And I'm coloring all in the same direction.
Remember, craftsmanship is super important, so you need to color in every single white spot that you see. For the last step, I'm using a Sharpie to clean up any lines I have, allowing any of my pencil lines to be covered, and this makes it nice and clean and sharp looking. Once you are all done covering every pencil line with your Sharpie, your unicorn is complete.